Harry Styles English singer Harry Edward Styles is an English singer. Known for his influence in popular culture, showmanship, artistry, and philanthropy, he is a subject of widespread public interest with a vast fanbase. Styles is considered to be among the most successful solo artists who have emerged from a boy band. Born, February 1, 1994, age 30 years, Redditch, United Kingdom. Music Group, One Direction, 2010-2016. Height, 1.83 meters, siblings, Gemma Styles, Mike Twist, Amy Twist. Harry Edward Styles was born on February 1, 1994 in Bromsgrove, Worcestershire, England, the son of Anne Twist, Nay Selly, and Desmond Des Styles, who worked in finance. Harry made his acting debut in Dunkirk. The critically acclaimed film topped the U.S. box office in its first weekend and was one of the top-grossing films of the summer. Styles also made his solo music debut with his self-titled debut album, released in May 2017. The 10 track album featured the lead single Sign of the Times, which topped the iTunes charts in over 84 countries upon release day. The album made history with the biggest debut sales week for a UK male artist's first full length album since Nielsen Music began tracking sales in 1991, and it topped official charts at number one in more than 55 countries. In support of the new music, he made acclaimed appearances on Saturday Night Live, including performing in multiple comedy sketches. The Graham Norton Show, and a week long residency on The Late Late Show with James Corden. Styles embarked on a sold out world tour in fall 2017. Harry Styles' live on tour began with intimate venues and continued to arenas in 2018, but due to COVID, he had to postpone his shows and began Love on Tour September 4, 2021, in Las Vegas. Styles' second album, Fine Line, 2019, debuted atop the U.S. Billboard 200 with the biggest first-week sales by an English male artist in history, and was listed among Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time in 2020. Its fourth single, Watermelon Sugar, topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Throughout his career, Styles has earned several accolades, including a Brit Award, an American Music Award, two Aria Music Awards, and a Billboard Music Award. Aside from music, he is also known for his flamboyant fashion, and is the first man to appear solo on the cover of Vogue magazine. Styles found fame as the star of the global phenomenon One Direction, a group that was assembled by Simon Cowell in the boot camp stage of the X Factor UK 2010 and made it all the way to the final before finishing third. In five years together, they impressively sold more than 70 million records worldwide, achieved a total of 137 number ones and won five Billboard Music Awards, four MTV Video Music Awards, five American Music Awards and six Brit Awards. One Direction was the first band in history to have its first four albums debut at number one on the Billboard 200 charts, with the fifth album topping UK charts selling 3.5 million copies worldwide. On December 13, 2015, the band performed Infinity and History on the X Factor UK finale, before embarking on a hiatus in 2016. Family Parents And Twist Desmond Styles, Relatives Gemma Styles, Sibling Trademarks Curly Hair Four Nipples His Dimples Goofy Personality Tattoos. Trivia. His first solo tour sold out in minutes. His second solo tour soon became a hybrid of arenas and stadiums, including two stints at Wembley Stadium, which sold out within hours. His impersonation of Mick Jagger on Saturday Night Live, 1975, was lauded by Jagger himself as the best one he'd seen so far. Since going solo, he has started playing the guitar publicly, but he can also play piano bass guitar, and drums. He idolizes Stevie Nicks, Chris Martin, and Mick Jagger, among others, and has listed the band Queen as one of his biggest musical inspirations. He wrote all the songs on his debut album, Harry Styles, and also his sophomore album, Fine Line. To fully immerse himself in the creative side of writing his album, he spent over a month secluded in Jamaica with his producers and some members of his band.
was the youngest member of the band One Direction. He is an avid reader. His favorite authors are Charles Bukowski, who inspired two of the songs in his album, Woman and Only Angel, Haruki Murakami, Alain de Botton, Joan Didion, and Lisa Tadeo. He is godfather to Jackson, son of close friend and photographer Calvin Arand, Ruby, daughter of Ben Winston, and Arlo, son of his personal assistant and close friend Emma Spring. He wrote his first solo single, Sign of the Times, alone in the piano in an hour. Then his co-writers polished it with him. His producer, Jeff Bosker, has expressed that a lot of this song is improvised, and that's why it's so long, clocking in 5 minutes and 40 seconds. He was in a band called White Eskimo before One Direction. He has expressed several times that the image the media has portrayed of him is not true and has shown disdain when being called a womanizer or when it's implied he likes older women. His favorite albums are Astral Weeks by Van Morrison, At Last, by Etta James, Blue by Joni Mitchell, and Rubber Soul by The Beatles. He expressed that if he hadn't been a singer, he would have liked to become a physiotherapist or a lawyer is good friends with James Corden, Stevie Nicks, Ben Winston, Lizzo, and Adele. He owns homes in Los Angeles, New York, Lazio, Italy, and London, but he splits his time between London and L.A. He was the first, and so far only, former X Factor contestant to win a Grammy. He's a self-proclaimed feminist and egalitarian and was seen wearing a shirt that read Women Are Smarter, distributed by the It's a Sickness Shop. Part of the proceeds of this t-shirt go to Planned Parenthood. He has expressed his support for the LGBTQ community consistently since he was 18 years old. Most notably, he wore a shirt that read Love is Equal, called out the Westboro Baptist Church on social media and during one of his concerts, wore a jersey of Michael Sam, the first openly gay football player to be drafted by the NFL, during his band's concert in St. Louis, has shown his support for the lesbian and gay switchboard organization shouted Happy Pride on Pride Day during his band's concert in San Siro, Italy, and used his social media several times to post rainbow flags on. Important dates, after the Pulse shooting, when gay marriage was legalized in America, etc. Many of his ancestors were farm laborers in Norfolk. He can juggle. In December 2020, he became the first ever solo male to appear on the cover of American Vogue. The magazine had featured men on its cover nine previous times, but all were accompanied by women. Has 60 tattoos so far. The only time he regrets it is when it takes an hour in the makeup chair on set to cover them all up when filming. His first pet was a dog named Max. He has an older sister named Gemma. The first preschool he went to was called Happy Days. On his father's side, Harry is the grandson of Keith Frederick Stiles and Beryl German. On his mother's side, Harry is the grandson of Brian William Selly and Mary Smith. Reportedly, he is the subject of certain songs on Taylor Swift's album 1989, including Style, Out of the Woods and I Know Places. They were said to be in a relationship in 2012. Quotes I can see how you could get dragged into the bad stuff, but I've got good friends around me, good family. I think I've got my head screwed on. A lot of the time, the way it's portrayed is that I only see women in a sexual way, but I grew up with just my mum and sister, so I respect women a lot. You get moments all the time that kind of make you pinch yourself, some of them make you quite emotional. Winning a Brit was a big moment, because we were just so excited to be at the awards in the first place. Selling out Madison Square Garden was pretty amazing too. Then we woke to the news that our UK tour was sold out. It was crazy. I'm quite old-fashioned. I like going out to dinner. You have the chance to talk to somebody and get to know them better. I don't want to be viewed as a womanizer or whatever. I don't like going crazy crazy. I like having fun, but it's nice to wake up in your own bed, isn't it? He's a legend. He's incredible. David Bowie can do no wrong. That, LGBTQ, race, and gender rights, doesn't feel like politics to me. I think stuff like equality feels much more fundamental. I feel like everyone is equal. Who's to say that young girls who like pop music short for popular right? Have worse musical taste than a 30-year-old hipster guy? That's not up to you to say. Music is something that's always changing. 
There's no goal posts. Young girls like the Beatles. You gonna tell me they're not serious? How can you say young girls don't get it? They're our future, our future doctors, lawyers, mothers, presidents, they kind of keep the world going. Teenage girl fans, they don't lie. If they like you, they're there. They don't act too cool. They like you, and they tell you. Which is sick. Being in a creative field, it's important to be progressive. People doing stuff like that, expressing their sexuality, is great. It's weird for me, explaining a sexuality, everyone should just be who they want to be. It's tough to justify somebody having to answer to someone else about stuff like that. I've never felt the need to, really, label his own sexuality. No. People just want me to be myself and be authentic with them. When you wake up every day, you get a chance to think of what you want to do with your day and what you want to put into the world that day and who you want to be. Be a lover. Choose love. Give love. Love everyone. Always. Spread as much love as you can. I grew up with my mom and my sister. When you grow up around women, your female influence is just bigger. Of course, men and women should be equal. I don't want a lot of credit for being a feminist. It's pretty simple. I think the ideals of feminism are pretty straightforward. Salaries. Don't worry darling, 2022, $25 million. Eternals, 2021, $380,000. Dunkirk, 2017, $34 million.